Welcome back again. Our topic for today is solenoid unloader for the AC air condition unit. Recently, we have a problem our system losing a lot of refrigerant. We found out that the leaking coming from the unloader which the solenoid coil is attached okay if you are new to our channel please subscribe and hit the bell for more updates let's go first thing we do we do a bubble test just only a soap for leaking detection as you can see there is a fine line on the unloader unit which the refrigerant comes out okay next step go to panel and then we need to isolate this number two system the main breaker the system has a pressure we need to close all valves the suction and the discharge and need to bleed need to bleed so that the compressor is out of pressure first thing to do we need a PPE for your eyes that is very uh, what you call this important close the discharge and the suction valve then I remove the supply for the unloader the solid the supply for the solenoid coil this coil is activated the design for this compressor or this system is when the solenoid coil is activated it means unload but if the solenoid coil is deactivated it means on load this is the design of this system the crack unit is at the 67 percent so unloader unit we have two unloader unit it's 67 capacity and 100 percent capacity this is the high pressure we already bleed we losing only the fittings for this high and low suction check the oil oil is good this one is the unloader inside of the unloader we already removed
this is the unloader unit this is the structure of the solenoid valve for unloader unit this is 67 capacity 67 percent capacity as you can see that is the punch mark that is only the lock in order to remove this cover or the valve set we use a file to remove that mark so that we can remove the inside of this solenoid valve this is the structure this is only the structure inside the valve Just observe what is the structure when the coil is activated that is the one who open inside We need to remove all spring and this is the box of the aircon. We don't have a, an, any spare, only a solenoid coil. And luckily, we don't have a spare. And first, we try this supply and check if there is a voltage on it as you can see there is a supply the coil is 220 and we get voltage 200 AC almost 200 AC it's good can act can activate the solenoid this is the solenoid coil as you can see we have a voltage on it it means it's activated if it is activated it is unload this is the design of this system That is the low pressure side. This is the dryer. Also at the dryer there is a charging line. This one is the coupled oil pump. This is the pressure switch combination pressure switch. This is capacity pressure switch. This is 67%. That is the unit, the unloader unit that we need to remove. That is the temperature transmitter that we can see here in our panel. This is the inside of the panel.
we don't have a spare for temporary remedy we do gas well our chief do gas well for this unit After putting back the solenoid unloader, don't forget to bubble test again. There is no leaking and ready to use. Thanks to our chief. Also, we checked the expansion valves, this is the electronic expansion valves. This is the temp controller, our temperature, outside temperature, suction is 28. Right now it's 10 degrees. We already ran two system. Previously, we do get a temperature about 19 degrees only one system right now the two system is running the discharge temperature total discharge temperature for this is 11 or 10 this is the regulator is the return accommodation return this is the outside air that's a regulate regulator attached with the lever with the flaps on it this is located in AC room but the compressor is located at the engine room this side it's a panel of air handling unit it's equipped with gas detecting indicator it means we have a fixed gas system if the fixed gas system detects a gas our aircon unit is also shutting down that is the indicator we will go down to the engine room and then we will see the compressor note the compressor AC compressor is located in engine room this is our AC unit one and two system are running we'll check the We'll check the pressure, suction pressure, and then high pressure. It's normal. The parameter is normal. Our oil need to top up. This is the one that we do gas weld. This is the capacity control pressure switch. This is the side glass where you can see the refrigerant. As you can see, the level is going up and down because our 
ship is slightly rolling that is the that is the condenser unit with the receiver at this point that is the flange that is covered in case in dry dock we remove this one and the shore or the yard put that a self cooling coming from them The left side is the system 2 and the right side is the system 1. As you can see there is a lot of a lot of bottle. This is the refrigerant bottle R404 45 kilograms from Unitor. That is our charging bottle. This is the pressure of low pressure for the system one. The parameters are normal and also equipped with pressure switches, also the capacity controls. This is the dryer for the system one. This is the name plate for our system Hi Air Korea this is the name of our system this is the site class system 1 as you can see there is enough refrigerant on it this side we have a separate bottle this is nitrogen nitrogen is for purging the system we need we need to use this one if we need to purge or something or flushing it depends This is the description, capacity, and the alarm list. Anti recycling means if the compressor is turned off or is turned off by tripping, you need to wait the delay time that is the uh, anti-alarm recycling you cannot restart immediately our AC unit is at the left side of the engine room uh, I mean at the port side to be exact Thanks for watching, if you like this video click thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell button for more updates.